Hi everyone, this is Cindy A. Lewis, uh, hoping to inspire you with success in many areas, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I want to show you some uh, chalkboard stickers that I got. I ordered these off Amazon, and these are um, you know very popular right now as you know chalkboard paint chalkboard spray paint chalkboard stickers chalkboard um, just about everything and um, I had picked up these cute jars <clears throat> uh, some time back and I haven't put anything on them yet and I haven't filled them yet but they were really adorable and I think I got these at Michael's and I don't remember exactly how much they were. I apologize for that, but they are really, really cute, and I want to, um, I want to use them for just the right thing. But that's not what this video is about. This video, I wanted to go over some experiment with you on these chalkboard stickers. So let me show you what I got. I got 130 stickers for about $10. I don't think that's too bad, um, especially if they're, if you're looking for a specific thing. And I'm reorganizing my pantry and under my kitchen sink and under my bathroom sink. And I want to, uh, and my craft area, I'm reorganizing everything. And I want to identify all my bins with chalkboard stickers. So there's all kinds of sizes and I've already used some of these. But I wanted to show you the various styles that there are. And what I wanted to go over with you today is some different ways that you can write on chalkboard stickers. So you can choose which you like um, by watching and trying this out. So the first thing, of course, would be chalk. Regular chalk that you buy at the dime store, at the dollar store. Um, is there a dime store anymore? I don't think so. But anyway, at the dollar store. And you can just write straight on here onto your chalkboard um, label. So let's try that. And we want to compare with chalk. We want to compare with white fingernail polish. Of course, this would be rather permanent. Uh, white out. I've seen someone use white out before. The big white out. And then actually the chalkboard markers. These are by Bistro and it comes in a four pack. You can buy these at Michaels or Hobby Lobby or probably Walmart. Um, these are really easy and you can wipe them off with a damp cloth. Um, I've already opened this package and I've used the white Bistro chalk marker. And you shake it up really really good and then um, the first time you use it you have to press down on the tip and then um, write with it so I'll show you <clears throat> I've already used some of these this is with the chalk marker I wrote these labels you can see that and then I had tried the whiteout method on these and it didn't give me the coverage I was looking for and it wasn't really defined for me. So I went back over it with the chalk marker and I liked that better. So you can see that on these bigger ones. But we're going to try it together so that you can see if you like it. Now the first one we're going to try is chalk, regular chalk, and we're going to write on here, um, <clears throat> let's write um, baking goods. So baking goods. So that's pretty good. And you get a little bit of dust from your chalk. Can you see that? Okay. Let's see. There we go. Now that's that one. Now if you wanted to write with your white out, 
This is just big, regular whiteout. It has a sponge applicator. I'll show you that. And this one is, we can see, a little sponge applicator. But it writes rather big from my experience. So let's just write um, a one word label and let's let's just call it um, uh, paper. Let's just do paper. So you can see how it glides across the paper. The, um, I think this applicator is not in really great shape, but it might make a difference and it's not writing very well. I think I can do much better and I don't really like that too much, but it could be the applicator. I've had um, this white out for a little bit this corrective fluid so I'm not sure let me show you you can see the difference it's very prominent though which is nice compared to the actual chalk so let's try the white fingernail polish let's try that and I've shaken it up already and on this one you can see it's the brush so we're gonna try writing, <clears throat> trying to think of something I actually need. Let's try, um, let's try bread. So it writes pretty good. You have to be kind of careful and watch your strokes for it to come across the paper right. I'm just gonna do this uh, not in all caps. And I'm trying not to smear the polish. I feel like it's almost like I'm painting my fingernails. I have to be very careful. Okay, so I kind of like the polish. Um, breads. It's pretty easy to put on. Uh, I could go back over it again. Let me show you that. It's, it's very readable from far away. So you can see the chalk, the corrective fluid or white out, and this is the white fingernail polish. Now, one more thing that we're gonna try tonight is our actual chalk marker. Now, like I say, I used it this afternoon and I really do um, like it, but you shake it up and then when you open it, you press down the very first time that you're gonna use it, you just push down. Um, let's, let's call this one, um, what do I need? Let's call this one uh, noodles. Let's just do that. I don't know if that's what I need, but okay. So we're gonna press down and then you don't have to keep doing that though. And you have a lot of control and you can just write pretty quickly, just like you write with a pen. And you can make it darker if you want to and thicker lines if you want to and I will show this one to you oop I smeared it when I went back over but I can fix it now this is um, what you can wipe off of it up you can wipe off the label with a damp cloth so here's the noodles and this is with the chalk marker. So let's look at it again. We have the chalk, the actual chalk. We have the corrective fluid or whiteout, which is not my favorite actually, but it could be the applicator or it could be me. Um, here is the white fingernail polish, which is the breads. Let's see, there you go. And then this noodles 
is the chalk marker by Bistro. So I'll let you be the just make the decision yourself on what you like when you use chalkboard stickers or labels. But my favorite is actually the chalk marker or the chalk. I'm not too crazy about the other two, but I really did fall in love with this chalk marker. So my favorite is the chalk marker and you'll have to comment and let me know which you chose if you use any of these um, chalkboard labels or stickers and just let me know which one you liked the best if you um, if you buy these and decide to try out some some different methods for adding your wording in text so anyway thank you for watching i hope that it, you would like this video share it comment on it um, be nice and um, kind with your words as we want to encourage others and we want to inspire them so i am on instagram as cindy underscore a underscore lewis and i'm on facebook cindy a lewis so check me out and uh, comment and share and appreciate you doing that so thank you subscribe to my channel I'm trying to get um enough subscribers to actually do a contest so excited about that so anyway thank you again have a good night